Well, there's no doubt this winter we have lacked vitamin D because we haven't seen the sun. So what do we do? What can we eat? Is there much that we can eat? So we brought in Tyler, the expert there, in this area, to is, let us know what we can do. Exactly. There are some things that you can eat, but it is still really impractical, which is a, what I'm going to try to show you at this, at this time. So we got your mushrooms, which mm -hmm. you said. That's the only the, natural food, uh, vegetable, or fruit source yes. of vitamin D, right? That's right. There's nothing that. that. That's very good. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's, nothing, there's nothing that grows on land actually with the exception of fungus and yeast and stuff like that that actually has vitamin D and it's because much like our skin our skin has a type of cholesterol that synthesizes uh, vitamin D from sunlight mushrooms do as well the problem is with mushrooms is they grow in the dark so they don't have a lot of vitamin D you have normally to eat an awful lot of mushrooms you would have to eat uh, 50 times this bowl <laughs> to equal a single daily amount of that vitamin would be D crazy. but what you can do is if you if you for some reason grow your own mushrooms or like to go into the woods and pick your own mushrooms you pick them throw them in the sun for 5 minutes and they will have 100 times more vitamin D in oh, that's 5 cool. minutes so it's a little trick, That's but really it's not neat, like yeah. everybody not does everyone that. Not everyone skipping no. through the roots, well, picking <laughs> exactly. mushrooms. All exactly. right, and now, so, so sardines? Yes, oh. I know. Not necessarily yeah. sardines. I just always bring the sardines because it, I'm not going to bring, like, fresh fish on the show. Right, it's but so fish in general. Fish in general, um, any sort of oily fish, so herring, mackerel, sardines, anchovies, um, salmon, tuna as well. Very, very high in vitamin D. It's the most practical way to get vitamin D. You can get it in mushrooms, you can get it in eggs. But practical-wise, you can get about... 250 to 500 international units, which is like half a, an adult serving oh, okay. in, in, a, in a container like this, so or like 100 bad. grams of fish. And of course, sunlight is and sunlight. where we're going to get it, but when yeah. there's not a lot of sun during that's, our winter months. That's the problem. It's estimated, Stats Canada estimates that about two-thirds of Canadians are deficient in vitamin D. And oh, I have wow, that's yeah, a Yeah, and that's a conservative sort of estimate, mm. and that's mostly to do with the fact that like you do, you can synthesize about 10,000 to 20,000 IUs in the sun for 30 minutes. Full body exposure, no sunscreen, so impractical because yeah, nobody that's walks not around. Happening either. No, most people. Yeah, so see, Vancouver's not so all... great. It rains a lot there. They have no that's vitamin right. D going on. That's right. And, <laughs> and for us, for like the last like month and a half, or I should say season and a half, really it's bad. been really, really yeah. bad. So, so if supplements are a good idea. Supplements are a good idea, and it's the one thing that is by far the best bang for your buck. It is the cheapest supplement you can possibly buy, bar none, with the greatest amount of benefits. And the benefits as far as cancer, there's been a lot of studies that have been showing uh, vitamin D reduced risk of some cancers by 50%. Wow. Like, there, there's, there's so many. I brought my textbook from, from uh, the, early, the late 90s from university, my nutrition textbook. There's a chapter on vitamin D that starts at page 411 and goes to page 412. And it's, it's just vitamin D is good for rickets. That's it. Like really? Just osteoporosis, osteomalacia. The last 10 years, the amount of research has exploded, and now heart disease, diabetes. You need to get a new book. Uh, yeah, I, uh, this is this is my basement. Yeah, <laughs> I just dug it up for for purposes. I, I try to keep up. I try to keep now, up. Now, is, is there an advantage over the drops compared to tablets? The drops are far more inexpensive, and they have the advantage of faster absorption. It's not a huge huge deal, but when you look at like for example this, which is the the, ch the children's vitamin D that we often recommend. Mm -hmm. There's about 1,200 drops, 1,200 servings in that small bottle. It works out to less than one cent per day. Oh, that's good. It's so like 0.9 cents. So once you for something that's so good for us, right? Exactly. It's kind of like yeah, it's it's a no-brainer, and the benefits to cost ratio are just out of this world. Um, you get these other liquids here, which are still about less than two cents a day. Once you get into capsules such as this one, it's more convenient for some people because you can th throw it in your pocket or your Vitamind or whatever it is. It's still like, relatively inexpensive, and there's chewables. This is what our son uses, the um, vitamin D3. Oh, yeah, D3. that's a good idea. Chewable, he thinks it's candy, mm. so it's a win-win like in our house. Yeah, exactly, we can use it. A treat gets, that's really good for exactly. you. Exactly, so it works out really well. Great. Well, some good, some good points. Uh, the one last question I had, does, this abs does liquid absorb faster into the body than a tablet? It, or? it does a little bit. In the case of capsules, not so much tablets because you chew them and they become liquid very fast once they mix your saliva mm -hmm. and your gastric juices. Capsules take about eight minutes to dissolve on average, so you got it, this is instant in the sense that it's, there's no capsule to hold it in. And tablets, depending on what's in them and how highly they're compressed, can take up to 45 minutes, but it All depends. Right. But liquids are usually always better from an absorbability standpoint. Tyler, yep. thank you. Thank you. For more information, <laughs> head up to Full Circle. These guys are awesome. S always full of great information. Have lots of uh, workshops and things you can tap into as well. For FullCircleHealthCare.ca for more information. <laughs>